Hello everyone, I'm a Rainbow, and I'm going to demonstrate how you can easily create your own 3D videos using the Quest 3 and the Quest Games Optimizer app. The entire process is easy to do and very straightforward. You don't need to run ADP commands, you don't need to figure out FFmpeg, and you'll be able to edit and encode your video so that it's automatically recognized as a 3D format. Here's what I'm going to show you. How to record great looking 3D video on your headset. How to watch it directly on your headset. How to edit it using Shotcut. You can use any video editor, but I'm going to stick with Shotcut. How to easily encode your edited video so that YouTube or any other player will recognize it as a 3D video. Lastly, I'll show you how to watch the video on YouTube VR or Skybox on your headset. Let's get started. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using clips of Crashland. You'll probably get tired of watching them, but for consistency, I'm going to stick with the footage in the one app. As I mentioned, you need Quest Games Optimizer for this method. It costs $10. It's worth a whole lot more than that, but if you're not going to use it, then stop watching the video now. If you need help setting it up, there's a link in the description for a setup video. Once you've got your headset on, start up Quest Games Optimizer. We're going to go to Video Capture Settings. These are my recommended settings. You can experiment on your own. Eye Selection, side-by-side -side for 3D capture. Capture Definition, 2160 pixels. Capture Format, Landscape. Compression, at least 20 megabits per second. You can try for higher, but you might run into a lot of video artifacts. Frame rate, full frame rate. Scroll back up and make sure you hit apply. After this, do not make any changes to the regular camera settings in the menu. They will override the Quest Games Optimizer settings if you do. If you want image stabilization on, turn it on first, then apply the Quest Games Optimizer. Now you're ready to record and you can start at any time. Once you're done recording, your 3D video is ready to view. You don't have to do anything else. It's just that quick. Open up the Quest TV app. Select your media. If you haven't run this before, you'll need to give it permission to access your files. Click on the video you want to watch. It'll start playing in 2D side by side. Pause the video, select the gear icon, select projection, select 3D left right. Start playing again and bam, there's your highlights in glorious 3D. That's all you have to do to record in 3D and watch it in 3D. If you transfer it off your headset, you can upload the video to YouTube or any other video player and it will still be in a 3D format. If you're not planning to edit the video, then you're done. That's all you have to do. You don't need to listen to me anymore. However, if you want to edit the video, there's more steps you need to take. When you edit your video and export it, the 3D encoding gets stripped away. Any video player won't automatically recognize it in the correct format. It'll just be a side-by-side -side video. Also, here's my one pro tip for this process. The Quest 3D video actually looks best at a 4x3 resolution, not 16x9. When you edit the video, you should change the aspect ratio to 4x3. I'll show you how to do this in Shotgun. Pull the video down to the timeline. Do any editing you plan to do. Select the clip. Select Properties. In Aspect Ratio, it'll be 16 by 9. Change that to 4 by 3. Go ahead and export the clip. Now you've got your edited video in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio but you'll need to encode it for it to become a 3D video. You'll need Handbrake for this. It's free and there's a link to it in the description. 
The installation is straightforward, so I'm not going to cover it. Once you've got it installed, open up Handbrake. On the Summary tab, select MP4 for format. In Save As, give the ENCODE file a slightly different name so you can identify it. I just add ENCODE, but do whatever you want. On Dimensions, select 2160 4K Ultra HD. On the Video tab, encoding should be H264. Frame rate is same as source. Here's the important part. In Advanced Options, you need to type Frame minus Packing equals 3. These are the magic words that make the video recognizable as 3D. Hit the green Start Encode button. Depending on how long your clip is, this can take a while. Once it's done, your video is ready to upload to YouTube or any other 3D player. Here's a YouTube tip for when you upload. The video will need to process a lot longer than a normal video. You have to let it complete the process before you try and watch. If you don't wait, it won't appear to be in 3D. This can take anywhere from half an hour to an hour, maybe more if you have a really long video. Once the video is complete, you can watch it on YouTube VR using your headset. If you think it looks a little grainy, it does. YouTube VR does not use a very high resolution. However, if you really want to see how good your video looks, I'd recommend Skybox VR. It costs 10 bucks, but it's worth it. Since you already have Quest Games Optimizer, and you pair it with Skybox, you'll get some very high resolution video and they look awesome. If you stayed with me this long, I appreciate you watching. If you've got questions, please hit me up in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. I'm a rainbow, y'all be good. Take care, bye-bye.